Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. We are going to do a full body mobility series. It is going to be done mostly standing up. You will see there is a lot of movement that can be reminiscent to what you might see um, in the opening series of a dance class. The reason why I love this type of movement is because it's full body and also because it connects brain to body. So, standing on your mat, we're just gonna start off with some gentle head rolls. Pay attention to what you're feeling. Maybe you slept funny last night and your neck actually feels a little tender in one area. Reverse. Move through the movement with intention. You're moving through it to feel it, not to just get it done. You're connecting with your muscles. Good. Let's do some shoulder rolls back. Again, paying attention to any feedback your body's giving you. Reverse. Maybe you have a shoulder injury. Maybe you had a shoulder injury and there's some fibrosis or scarring. And one side feels a little more open than the other. Pay attention to that. Get to know that. Get to know your body. Good. Okay. We're gonna bring our feet a little wider apart, arms out, and we're going to reach from side to side. So we're not moving our hips here. Our hips are stable. What's moving is our rib cage from side to side. So this is called an isolation movement. So we're having, we're making our brain focus on keeping part of our body completely still while we isolate movement and another part of the body. You should start to feel your obliques here. Good. My back is a little tight today, so I can also feel that here. That's what I'm paying attention to. It's the feedback my body's giving me right now, right? Good. A couple more. If this movement is challenging for you, you can go a little slower. Also notice you should be feeling your arms engage, burning a little bit as we resist gravity here. Good. Now, we're going to go to the opposite side. So we're just going to reach and up. Other side and up. This is a really nice, oblique stretch. And again, I'm feeling my back because it's tight today. But where are you feeling feedback? And is it, ooh, this feels really good and luxurious. The stretch feels great. Or is it, ooh, that's a pinch. It's not what I want. So keep that mental inventory running. Good, a couple more. You might find that you're able to drop deeper. I want you to stay lifted 
here. I don't want you to crunch over. I want you to stay lifted. So think about reaching out rather than reaching over. We're gonna move into some rib cage isolations. So isolation, like before, we wanna keep all but the body part we are moving still. So knees slightly bent, hips stay still, knees stay still, feet don't move, okay? So our rib cage comes forward and center. This is our center, this is our home. Side, center. Back, center, left, center. Good. Forward, center, left, center, back, center, right, center, forward, center. So if you've never done this type of movement before, it's definitely different, right? So um, it feels a little awkward, but it's good because you are working muscles that you don't typically work and doing movements that you don't typically do. And that's great. It gets your brain involved and starts creating new neural connections. So keep doing that. Okay, so we're gonna go one way and then the other. I'll tell you when it's time to switch. So we go forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. Now try to make it a fluid movement. Your arms can come up here. They can stay on the thighs. And don't worry about what you might look like. Just drop into your body and connect with what it feels like. Good. All right, other direction, we'll go slow at first. So, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, fluid movement, and around and around. Keeping your other body parts planted and as isolated as possible. Good, awesome job. I know that feels different, but different is good. So, <clears throat> let's come down to our hips now and let's just do some gentle circles one direction. Let your knees drop with it. If that feels good, you can let your arms move in whatever way feels good. You can touch your body, that is very much allowed. It is your body. <laughs> I encourage you to do that. Big hip circles, really working these small muscles that often get neglected. Good. We'll go to the other side. So I've talked about this before, but we as women, men too, but especially women, hold a lot of tension in the hip area in the psoas, the hip flexors, in the gluteus, in the thighs. So sometimes when we start activating these areas of our body, not only do we feel familiar twinges because of tightness, but sometimes sensations can actually get released or come up. So past trauma is stored in the body and can especially be stored in the hip area. So if you do feel a sensation that is unpleasant or is not familiar, please be kind with yourself, okay? 
be kind. Now we're moving back and forth. Right, left, right, left. Be kind to yourself, okay? Try to keep going and try to get that information from your body, but be respectful and tread lightly and know that it's totally normal. Many women, when they're doing hip mobility, happy baby, splits, feel very uncomfortable. And a lot of times it's because of the trauma that's stored in that area. Good, awesome. So now I want you to drop, bring your feet a little further apart, wider than hips distance. And we are going to drip to the floor. So I want you to think of a candle dripping, oozing to the ground. We're going to reach up, bend down, drip, straighten the legs, come up. So bend, ooze to the ground, straighten the legs, roll, and again, drop, straighten, and roll the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. Again, bend the knees, roll the body to the floor, straighten the legs, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. It feels so good. Feels like a gentle massage on my spine. Oh, two more. And really enjoy this last one. Oh, awesome. Shake it out. Good job, you guys. Whew. Take any movements that you need to that feel necessary in your body. Any stretches. Okay, for this next movement, I want you to watch me once and then we'll move slowly through it together. So we're gonna start out with arms open, chest open, and our feet slightly wider than our hips. We're going to bend into the right knee and we are going to stretch over. I don't have any pressure here. I'm just kind of resting it. Good. My body turns over and comes down. And I'm now in a basically a really amazing hamstring stretch. My spine is lifted and reaching over. I'm not hunched, I'm lifted and reaching over. Here. And then I'm going to come to my center, bend my knees a little bit, and get an awesome hang here. Move to my other side. And again, same position, just the other side, back into this hamstring stretch. Now, I am gonna micro bend this knee in order to protect it, and I'm going to engage my abs. I'm engaging my abs so that I can lift my upper body up. So, I'm here, micro bend, my, my abs are engaged, I'm squeezing, and I lift up, and then I'm reaching over like I did to begin with and then I come up and then we would do the other side. So it looks a little complex but once the movement really sinks into your body it feels so natural and so good and you can actually even go faster and so you're just moving from one direction to the other which feels awesome. So. For now, we'll move slowly through it together. Arms wide, micro bend that right knee. 
reaching over nice oblique stretch turning your body to your right leg draping over the front leg feeling that hamstring stretch take a nice deep breath in and out bringing breath and release to anywhere that feels tight good walking to the middle micro bend the knees hang in the center good walking over to the other side feel that hamstring stretch micro bend the left knee engage the abs and come over and then using the abs to stand up and your feet come back to how you started awesome job other side bending the left knee reaching over for this oblique stretch good and then turning our bodies towards the left foot and coming over our left foot feel the hamstring stretch there walk to the middle and hang here walk to the right side engage your abs lift your body up make sure this right knee is bent up reaching over coming up and turn that foot out to come back to where we started. Okay, let's do one more in each direction. A little quicker. Over to the floor. To the middle. To the left. Micro bend, stretch over and up. Other side to the left, bending over, come to the midline here, oh it feels so good on my back, other side, micro bend, engage the abs, over, standing up, so <clears throat> Once you get a bit more comfortable, it can move faster through it. It can look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, something like that. Notice I added a little bit, uh, one extra step there. That's just what my body wanted to do. But as you get more comfortable with that movement, you can speed it up and it becomes really fun. So let's come to the ground. And we are actually going to come to our knees and we're going to plant our toes on the mat even if you have to pull your fourth and fifth toe forward with your fingers i want to make sure that all of your toes are making contact with the mat pushing back into your butt getting a really good stretch on your toes here this might be enough for you if you want more you can actually sit up and sit back on the heels so let's just hold here for three breaths good job I know this can be uncomfortable the fascia on our feet can get really constricted and really tight which is why it's so important that we don't neglect the feet good and 
come forward, release, drop down into a child's pose here. breaths together. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you feel more open, more stretched, and I hope that you have a great rest of your